गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास इलेवेंथ सो कंटिन्यूइंग विद द फिशेज येस्टरडे वी एंटर इन टू फिशेज वर्ल्ड एंड वी टॉक्ड अबाउट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट काटी ले जीनस फिशेज दैट इज वी टॉक्ड अबाउट कॉन्ट्री काटेज राइट दैट दे वर अवर काटी ले जीनस फिशेज एज यू नो दैट देयर इज अ सुपर क्लास दैट इज द Pisces and Pisces has further two classes. One is cartilaginous fishes and another is bony fishes. Cartilaginous fishes, that class is known as chondrichthyes, uh, chondrichthyes, and uh, your bony fishes, they are known as osteichthyes. Now, osteichthyes or bony fishes, they include both. They can be marine. they can be found in marine water or they are fresh water fishes also if we talk about their skeletal system they have bony endoskeleton one difference between cartilaginous and bony fishes is in bony fishes endoskeleton is bony and in cartilaginous fishes endoskeleton is cartilage the uh, um, sorry in bony fishes endoskeleton is bony that is the reason they are known as bony fishes now exoskeleton yesterday we talked about the scales and those scales they were known as placoid scales here the scales they are dermal scales and they are of three types cycloid genoid and tenoid and out of these three most common type is tenoid scales so fishes have both type of appendages paired as well as unpaired appendages also right paired they are pectoral and pelvic fins pectoral usually they are uh, you can uh, observe them on the sides and pelvic is just that is on the ventral surface so here if i just make it little bigger for you then you will observe this that uh, let okay so here as you can see this is our pectoral fin right and on the ventral side there is the pelvic fin and what about the unpaired fins here dorsal fin then ventral fin and the caudal fin caudal which is present around the tail these are un paired right so these these uh, are few app appendages which are uh, observed in cartilaginous as well as your bony fishes also mouth mouth is completely anterior means right in the front as you can see exact in the front so you can write here that it is exactly anterior means right in the front mouth is just in the front shape now digestive system we are going to start with now systems they have anus and one another thing they do not have which is different in the bony and cartilaginous fishes that is third difference between them they do not have scroll valve and scroll valve is characteristic feature of cartilaginous fishes teeth they have very specific kind of teeth please uh, uh, you have to understand this thing very carefully because uh, in phylum in our class in our class uh, amphibia we are going to talk about them them also so teeth are homodont polyphyodont and acrodont now homo homo means all teeth they are of same shape and size polyphyodont polyphyodont means every time they fall new set is developed it means they have many sets these the, those where um, the, that type of teeth which 
when set is double when many sets are there those type are known as polyphyodont acrodont when teeth they are just loosely attached i will say superficially attached even sometimes they fall off when the fishes they capture the food right so homodont same size same shape polyphyodont if they fall even if they fall new set is developed see so it means when if suppose uh, after uh, at the time of catching food if the uh, their tooth or their teeth that has fallen off they can develop new set also so this is a very very special characteristic of the digestive system respiratory system they respire through the gills and when the respiration is through gills that respiration is known as branchial respiration here gills are in four pairs if you recall in the cartilaginous fishes gills they were five to seven pairs now one thing we discussed there that the scale was uh, the cover was absent except chimera so here the gills are covered by upper column the large scale which covers gill another characteristic feature of our bony fishes air bladder or swim bladder it is present now what is the function of this air bladder or swim bladder now its name is swim bladder it means it help these fishes to float it prevent the fishes to sink in the water they regulate bio and c it act as hydrostatic organ or you can say act as lungs when the air is filled it just inflated like a balloon and the fishes they never sink in the water and another difference air bladder is absent in the cartilaginous fishes but it is very well present which maintain bioancy which regulate bioancy that is present in bony fishes heart again two chambered the main two chambered are one atrium and one ventricle the another accessory chambers are sinus venosus and truncus arteriosus there it was uh, coronus arteriosus coronal here it is sinus venosus and truncus arteriosus now heart is branchial or venous heart which is branchial and venous heart heart which receives or only deoxygenated blood when passes through heart this type of heart is known as branchial or venous heart so heart circulation single only blood passes through heart single time so circulation is single circulation they are poikilotherms they are cold blooded animals they cannot regulate their internal body temperature according to the outer environment if we talk about their reproduction sexes are separate they are unisexual right fertilization external they are mostly oviparous means they lay eggs development is direct means no larval stage is observed so sexes are separate they are unisexual ones fertilization is external mostly oviparous and direct development if we look at the examples here as you can see this flying fish yes this is axocetus and it is flying fish and here hippocampus which is sea horse there are few fresh water fishes also katla then um, rohu katla and magur they are found in fresh water clarias the magur's name is clarias so katla rohu magur they are fresh water fishes and beta 
beta is which is known as also known as fighting fish it is the one of the most beautiful aquarium fish as well as angel fish pro uh, pterophyllum that is a angel fish they both beta and pterophyllum they both are our aquarium fishes right so these are the examples of our cart, uh, bony fishes so please it is always better that if you sorted out their main characteristics and write them on the separate paper otherwise you will getting confused you are going to get confused between these two classes so i will meet you with the another class we are going to start that is amphibia which belong to super class tetrapoda